This is the Yabur T2 series projector that I'll be reviewing in this video. So I'm going to show you what comes in its box. And then I'm going to show you the best image settings that I could get from this projector. So I'm going to show you the settings that I adjusted. And we're going to be testing the HDMI output. We're going to be testing also the USB play. So I'm going to play a video in 4K. And then I'm going to play the same video in Full HD. And the purpose of this test is to see if this projector will downgrade the 4K video to Full HD because its maximum resolution is Full HD. And also I'm going to show you how to screen mirror your smartphone, whether it is an iPhone or Android phone, to this projector. In my example, I'll be using my iPhone. When you start it up, it will go on English by default for the language. It is fine by me. Choose the language you want here. And then on your remote control, go with the right arrow to the right. And here also go to the right once again. And here it's telling you how you can adjust the focus. So I'm going to show you this afterwards anyways. So let's go to the right once again. And here it's asking you to connect to a Wi-Fi network. And notice the message here on the bottom. It says that it cannot connect to a Wi-Fi network with WPA3 encryption. And that is a shame in my opinion. So let's connect to another Wi-Fi network. And I'm going to reconnect my smartphone to the other Wi-Fi network afterwards. And here it is connected to the Wi-Fi network. And here's the setup completed. The remote control is stylish and the buttons are self-explanatory. I'm going to show you this button that is here in the middle. This button will activate the autofocus and auto keystone. And these two buttons on the right are for the manual focus in case you need it. I want to show you now the menu and the important settings in the menu. So to go to the menu here on the top, select it and then press OK on your remote control. And here, if you want to change the network, for instance, you can change it. And by the way, this projector can be connected also with a wired network connection. And here, if you want to connect it to any Bluetooth equipment, and this is a projection mode. So in case you want to change it, for instance, to put it on the ceiling or like to reverse it, you can do it here. And you can change the manual keystone and the autofocus here and so on and so forth. For the image quality, you have the image mode here and you have many settings for the image mode. So you have the standard mode, you have the vivid mode, natural mode and so on. And you can also choose user mode and you can change here the contrast, the brightness and the sharpness and also the color. And you have also the sound. You have the sound mode. It is by default on standard. I'm going to put it on movie. And this is a general here in case you want to change the language. And in case also you want to change the screen saver. By default, the screen saver comes on five minutes. Let me show you now how to force the projector to autofocus by pressing this button on the remote control. And the projector will also autofocus automatically in case you change its place. Now I'm going to connect my TV box to the HDMI and we're going to test the picture quality and put the best settings to get the best picture possible. I just turned on my TV box. Let's go to the HDMI input. So let me start YouTube and let me start this video. This is a high resolution 4K video. And you want to connect these two laptops. So it is playing well. The picture quality, I don't like it as it is. So it is a little bit dark in my opinion. Let me try to arrange it. I'm going to put it on user mode and I'm going to reduce the contrast. I saw that the contrast is a little bit high. Let me increase the brightness just a little bit. And the sharpness, I'm going to reduce it a bit. And for the colors, I'm going to give it a little bit more colors. Let's try it now. And this is way, way better than before. So see how it is not dark anymore here around my eyes and it's not pixelating anymore like it was. So this is a setting, in my opinion, that is good. So if you find another setting that you like, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. What is the setting that you found that you like? And I'm going to go to file manager now and I'm going to play some videos of mine that are on the USB key that I inserted in the projector. So this is USB key. It was detected by default. And by the way, the projector can read USB keys formatted in NTFS or FAT32. So let's select the USB key. And here I've put two videos, one in 4K and one in Full HD. And this projector resolution is Full HD. So I'm going to try the Full HD now. Hi everyone, these two headphones have almost the same specifications. These are the Sony And it works HD flawlessly. So let's try the 4K to see if it will downscale it to Full HD. Hi everyone. This two and this is really very good. So the projector, even though it is not 4K, it could scale down a 4K video. And I like this very much. 
So now I want to try the screen share, which is screen mirroring. So I'm going to select it here on the main screen. And then on my phone, I'm going to go to the control menu and then click on screen mirror. And here I found the projector, which is Jaber T2 series. So I'm going to select it. And here it is mirroring without any problem. So by the way, you cannot cast or mirror Netflix, Amazon, everything that is copyright protected. But you can, for instance, here mirror YouTube if you want to and anything else that is not copyrighted. Let me give you now a glimpse of the specifications of this projector. So this is a full HD projector. It has 450 lumens brightness and also it has an HDMI input that is 1.4. It has also USB 2.0 input and it has an audio output jack. It has two speakers that are 8 watts and the good thing about this is that they are made by JBL and they are also Dolby surround speakers. Now also what is unique about this projector is that it is a portable projector so it has an internal battery that you can charge fully from 0 to 100 in 3.5 hours and it can last up to 2.5 hours of operation. Now also you see this projector that is on the tripod here. So it has a standard tripod thread that you can put it. But also you can remove this projector and you can put it like on any surface. So the handle you can put it like this. And then you can also put the projector up to 15 degrees on the top like this. And because it has autofocus and auto keystone, it will adjust the picture automatically so that the picture won't be distorted. Let me show you now what comes in the box. You have the projector, you have an HDMI cable, a power cord, remote control with its batteries, a brand kit that contains documentation and some marketing material, and a wiping cloth. So now that you saw the image quality of this projector, you have your own opinion if you like it or not. For me, I'm going to tell you what I like and what I don't like in this projector. I'm going to start with the likes. I like the fact that it is portable and it has an internal battery. This makes it flexible and like it extends its usability. So you can use it in a picnic, you can use it in camping and so on and so forth. Also, I like the fact that it is a very good built quality. So it really feels premium and nothing in it has any faults. Everything is well assembled. I also like the fact that it has JBL speakers and the sound that they produce is really very good and you can use them without connecting any external speaker to this projector. Now what I don't like about it is that its Wi-Fi connection cannot accept WPA3 encryption. Also what I don't like about it is that the HDMI port in it, it is 1.4 only. So it would have been better if it is 2.0 or more. One other thing also that is the most important thing and what I don't like about it is that its picture quality is okay. It is not excellent. It is watchable, but you need to tweak it. And in some scenes, it is a little bit dark, even if you tweak it. If you want to check out this projector from Yabber, I'm going to leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you. And this will support my channel. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. In case you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.